this second lecture, we're gonna introduce linear model. Last time we briefly talked about the machine learning and how it works. So we are using labeled training data sets and train a model. And then once the model is trained using our data set test called the test data set, we evaluate our model. That's the basic concept of machine learning. Particularly, we call this type of machine learning as a supervised learning because we are providing the data set with answers, we train them, we supervise this machine learning. And then the first task we want to do here is that we want to design our model for the machine learning, which takes input as an X and then predict Y. In order to identify the best model for this, we need to look uh, the data carefully, what's the input and then what, what is the output. In our cases, if you spend more time, probably you can get the higher score. If you spend less time, you can spend you can get the lower score. So two data has, has basically linear relationships. Not only this case, you can find in fact many many cases that has linear relationship. For example, if you want to predict uh, house price based on the size of the house, usually they have linear relationships. Or if you want to uh, predict the weight of uh, a human, then you can see the height and the weight. They usually have uh, linear correlations. So linear is really uh, important, very really simple, but it's uh, really good to start with. So in our case, we are using exactly that idea. So the input of our system is X, and then we do some sort of linear, and then we're gonna predict Y here. So especially we are, you are going to use the hat mark here to um, saying that oh this is the y prediction. So in notation, in the mathematical notation, we can say x times w, which is uh, some variable called the weight, and then plus bias another variable called b. That's uh, exactly our uh, model looks like. In our slide, by the way, this is a little bit complicated, so we're gonna drop this bias. So we will, we will simplify our model with a very simple x times w, which is a variable. And then if we have this kind of linear form, we can draw this line for the y for given input. This is x given input, this is y. And then for given data set, this is actually our the true line. But unfortunately, our machine does not have any insights from this data. So what they do is that usually we can start this W with a very much random value. And then from this random value, we want to fit this line, this guess, to the real data set. This is process of the learning. So for example, let's say this is uh, guess one. We have one random guess, one, and then this is the, another random guess two. So probably we have a more uh, guesses like this, random guesses. And the goal here is that we want to find out or we want to make this line closer to the true line here, which is provided by our data, training data sets. And then we need to measure which line is better so that we can move towards to close to the true line. So what is the best way to measure it? So basic idea is that from given data points, we can just measure the distance. This is sort of a simple idea. What is this value? This value is y and this value is y hat. So we basically find the differences between these two. Since it doesn't matter, it's gonna be a plus difference or minus difference. So usually we do square on this and then we call this one as an error. So entire goal of this machine learning is that we want to make this one really small so that our line will be close to the true line. So, so more formally, we're gonna say that this error or sometimes we call the loss is defined by y hat minus y, which we compute the differences and then do square. And then y hat is something like this so that we can just uh, express in this form. Then let's see some example here. So W, once again, it's a, a random guess. 
So we want to see how this loss can change uh, using different or different guess of the W. So we can start with W when W is 3. So then the Y hat can be computed in this w, w times X. So it's a 1 times 3 is 3. And then when X is 2, it's going to be 6. When X is 3, it's going to be 9. Then once we have this Y hat, what we can do is that we can compute the loss. So basically, find out the differences and then do square. For example, here, if the difference is, is 1, 1 square is 1. And here, the difference is, is 2, so 2 squares is 4. And here, the difference is, is 3, so 3 squares is, is 9. And then, because we have three different data sets, what we're going to do is that we do average on this sum of the differences, sum of, sum of the loss. Similarly, when this is another guess, so why when W is 4, we can compute the Y hat values, and then we find the differences, and then we do square. So this is a little bit bigger than previous. So the, our loss for three data set is sum of three divided by three. So basically the mean of the loss. We can continue this process. Basically, what we want to do is that we want to understand how this loss function or loss value is changing based on different W values. Similarly, when W is 0, we can compute like this and then see the differences and then compute the loss. And they're very simple. We're going to continue this ones. When W is 1, we can also compute uh, Y hat and then we can find all the loss. And then we can find the mean of the loss. And then when W is 2, uh, this is interesting case uh, because we predict something correctly, everything correctly. So the loss is basically 0. So which means that our loss correctly indicates that the errors between our prediction and then real value. So more formally, we're going to say that this loss is sum of the all data points and then we divide by n so it's uh, like an uh, average so we're going to call this one as mse so mean square error and then we can compute in this way so if we, we express all the loss as mse and when which w is 0 the mse is something like this when w is 1 mse is 4.7 and when w is 2 mse is 0 and when w is 3 mse is this and then when W is 4, MSE is uh, 18.7. So when we talk about the machine learning, we want to find out the value, W value that minimizes this MSE automatically. In this case, it's very easy. So we can manually compute um, and then figure out what is the best value. But once we have uh, many parameters, many weights, we cannot do this anymore. So we have to find some automatic way to identify this location. So in order to do that, we want to understand these graphs a little bit better. So that what we're gonna do is that here for a given W, we can compute the loss and then we can try to put the uh, points in here. So for example, when W is 0, the loss is 18.7 so around here. When W is 1, uh, it's the MSE is something 4.7, so it's gonna be around here. When W is 2, it's going to be 0. And when W is 3, it's 4.7. So you can get here. And then one, when W is 4, it's going to be something like this. Also, if you can compute in the middle, 3.5, it's going to be something. So probably it looks like a very nice curve. So the learning is actually try to identify the weight value which minimize the loss. In this case, is at this point. We want to identify this value automatically. That's what we're going to talk about in the next lecture. But before we get there, we're going to briefly uh, do some hands-on experience using our model. So what we want to do is that we want to program all these using uh, Python. So first, we have to define this model. So basically, it gets x as an input, and they will produce y hat, which is prediction. So we're going to make this one as a function in Python, forward, and then it gets x and as input. 
the return will be automatically uh, it's very simple so x times w so in w in our cases we'll take any random value you can start with 1.0 any point any random value you can start with then how we're going to compute the loss loss we need x and y again so here using the x we can we can compute the the predicted value and then using the y we can find the differences and then we do square and then we can just use these two functions and try to compute the loss for all w so first of all this is our guess but the w will move between 0 to uh, 4 and each step is 0 0.1 in this case and then at every step we're gonna print out w value and then we have uh, sum of the loss we initialize it and then we go in each uh, three different data sets and then get x value and y value first we're gonna get the prediction value and then uh, using this prediction value uh, we can compute the loss and then we sum uh, this loss and then we're gonna print this out and then MSE in each iteration can print out divided by 3 which is a mean value as you can see as W is 0 the MSE becomes something like this as we compute it and then as uh, W is going to change the MSE also going to change then uh, if we want we can print we can actually draw this uh, in very nice graph form like this so for example we have two variables which can basically save what is the w value at the point and what is the msc value here so we just save this value and then we can just print and then we'll see very nice graph like this so this is our entire program so hopefully you have no problem to understand that how we're going to implement this one using uh, simple Python and how we're going to compute loss based on our equation. So before we move on to compute this one automatically, I provide a few exercises for you. So first of all, try to identify other interesting linear prediction problems. And then if you can get some data set, you can draw the cost graph for especially maybe one data set. In next lecture, we're going to talk about how we're going to find out the W value, which gives us the lowest cost automatically, you would call gradient descent algorithm.